हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2014 एग्जाम सेट वन इट्स अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन लेट मी रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट फॉर यू एन एक्सेस सीक्वेंस ऑफ कैश ब्लॉक एड्रेसेस इज ऑफ लेंथ कैपिटल एन एंड कंटेन स्मॉल एंड यूनिक ब्लॉक एड्रेसेस द नंबर ऑफ यूनिक ब्लॉक एड्रेसेस बिटवीन टू कंजेक्यूटिव एक्सेसेस टू द सेम ब्लॉक एड्रेस इज bounded above by k what is the miss ratio if the access sequence is passed through a cache of associativity a greater than equal to k exercising least recently used replacement policy so they are asking to find the miss ratio also they have given length of access sequence of cache block accesses is capital n that means cpu tries to access some blocks say it asks for block number 1 then 2 then 4 then 8 then say 2 again 4 maybe 19 something so the total length of this sequence is capital n okay out of these we could have repetitions they are saying we have small n unique accesses for example 1 2 4 Eight and nineteen. These are unique. Okay, so they are small n in number. How many misses will occur? We actually require to find the miss ratio. Miss ratio is number of misses divided by total number of accesses. Total number of accesses is given capital M. We need to find out the number of misses. Now you see, whenever some block is accessed for the first time. it has to be a miss okay let's just try to guess this value the first access will be a miss this one will be a miss this one will be a miss this one will be a miss because there is no chance that you get any of these blocks in cache initially cache was empty this four is accessed for the first time here only it will not be in cache for sure so this is a miss let's just draw a cross this is a miss this is a miss this is a miss this one will be a miss this could either be a hit or a miss we cannot say anything that means at least n misses are sure okay so whatever you write here the number of misses will be either n or something greater than n okay that means we have almost found our answer we just need to determine if this value will be n or it's greater than n okay now you see for doing so what are we required to prove if we somehow prove that just look here this and this okay i should not encircle this these two are consecutive accesses to some block if i somehow prove that for the second access of any block there could be a miss okay first one is surely a miss if i somehow prove that there will be a miss i'll say that number uh, answer is something greater than n divided by capital n if i'm not able to prove this i'll say my answer is small n by capital n okay let's try to prove it let's see if this is possible or not so just let me write some sequence say block number 1 is accessed or let's not write a sequence let's just leave it as it is so this is the first access to some block this one will be a miss suppose it gets mapped onto this set in cache and we decide to place it here okay this is a kwe set as kwe set associative cache where they are saying associativity of cache is equal to a okay so this is a also a is greater than or equal to k let's assume value of k is 4 so a is greater than or equal to 4 so let's assume a will be 4 okay k we have taken as 4 a has to be greater than or equal to k 
आई एम टेकिंग ए इज इक्वल टू के ओके नाउ वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू इज दैट सम हाउ वेन वी रीच हेयर वाइल जस्ट एक्सेसिंग द सीक्वेंस वेन एवर वी रीच हेयर this one must be replaced from the cache that way i can say this is a miss okay if i am not able to prove so i'll say our answer is small n by capital n okay let's see for replacing this block what do we need what are the conditions for this block being replaced first thing is lru is used okay while accessing this sequence starting from here okay there could be some accesses uh, here also but say we are starting from here and we go till here at this point is one the least recently used no it's currently being used it cannot be the least recently used here it could only be least recently used if we don't access this block number 1 between these two also there are enough number of elements that these that entire set gets filled okay these lines must contain some block so if i just try to fill it with 2 2 2 2 so on will this one become the least recently used no not at all because this is a mess we place it here next one say it's a mess or even if it's a hit we don't care let's assume it was accessed here and see uh, cash has this one in the in that line we don't care if it was hit it was a hit or miss okay so say this is a hit again this one will be hit this one will be hit this one will be hit we didn't manage to fill this entire set that means to fill this entire set the number of unique elements present between two consecutive accesses to the same block must be how much let's see 1 2 3 we need minimum 3 elements to fill this set is the condition satisfied no we didn't create such a scenario that this has to be replaced this will only be replaced if one more element gets mapped into this set say we made these three accesses okay 2 3 4 now uh, one correction that is there in question it is k minus 1 unique addresses we'll discuss it later you just assume this is a correction in question now just have a look here say 2 3 4 we have placed it between two consecutive accesses to the same block we have already see, seen that these must not be unique okay also we have assumed that all these all of these accesses gets mapped to this set only this is our assumption to prove this thing okay to either prove it correct or prove it wrong so some of uh, these conditions will be satisfied and we'll try to either declare this one our answer or something greater than n our answer okay anyways let's focus here we try to our associativity is k in this case we try to map k minus 1 elements okay first second third so we try to bring three elements is this enough to get this block replaced no we need four elements only if one more elements gets mapped here this one would be so old in cache that it has to be replaced that means if even i place one more access here to accommodate this in cache also we are assuming that this get mapped on to this set only so to accommodate this one in cache we'll see back in time which one is least recently used one will be the least recently used okay that means to accommodate five one will be replaced and we will get a mess here this one will be a miss because one is no more in the cache a question is almost done now let's read what they are saying about k unique addresses between two consecutive accesses to 
same block is upper bounded by k minus 1. Unique excesses between two consecutive 1 and 1 between between two consecutive excesses to the same block unique addresses can be k minus 1 only okay that means we cannot have we have only three elements here we cannot have four elements okay that means there is no chance you replace this one this one will stay as it is okay 5 is actually the kth element look these are 3 or k minus 1 this is the kth element but that could not be placed between two consecutive excesses because they are saying unique addresses between two consecutive excesses to the same block is upper bounded by k minus 1 we can only place k minus 1 elements here this cannot be placed here that means there is no chance that LRU policy decides to replace it. Okay, there is no chance that we need to run LRU policy. LRU will be run only if something needs to be replaced. But we don't need any replacement. Okay. Also, if any of these blocks is already present in cache, like we said, 2 was already present in cache because it has been accessed earlier also, then we cannot even replace two also what i'm trying to say is a block if it ever enters into cache it will not be replaced okay because sets are large enough to accommodate every excess okay see between these two also we cannot place k minus one excesses okay so k minus one unique excesses that means two or three or four whatever block number it is it will never get replaced once it ends enter the cache because we are just accessing those blocks again and again so that no block becomes the least recently used ever okay what i'm trying to say is condition is so given in the question that whenever a set fills you are forced to just access any one of them again only. Just have a look here. Someone might think that what if I just keep on accessing new elements. Someday cache will be filled. I will be forced to replace some element of the cache. But that's not possible according to the question. Let's say you are making these accesses. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Next one, next access is automatically defined. You need to access this one again. Nothing else could be accessed. Here, you need to access one again because if you don't access one here, one can never be accessed. Okay, because say you access block number seven here. Now you cannot place one anywhere. One cannot ever be accessed because you have placed K k elements but maximum that we could place between two consecutive excesses will be or rather is k k minus one okay so one would come here because we have three elements between this this two consecutive excesses also next one will be two next one will be three next one will be four one two three four one two three four one two three four so on it will keep going so the question forces us to define the sequence okay define the sequence such that these blocks will be accessed repeatedly and no one will get replaced okay so yeah i just forgot to tell you the answer because we cannot replace any block that has once entered that means the only misses will be the misses which occur for the first time access to a block so your answer will be number of unique block addresses that is small n divided by capital n okay and even if you don't want to spend this much time that means if you are given options this one is the most likely one to be the answer because here we have denominator equal to capital n that is surely that is surely going to be in the denominator capital n because it is the total number of accesses formula also says misses divided by total number of accesses also 
the numerator will be minimum n as discussed. So this is most likely one to be the answer. Had I got this question in gate exam, and if time is very less, I would blindly take this option. Okay, because there's a high chance this one will be correct. Okay.